Hello everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we will discuss cluster of Paris for class 10, which is the last solved of the chapter. So, what is cluster of Paris? In short, it is written as POP, cluster of Paris. Its formula is Its formula is calcium sulfate hemihydrate. Hemi means half hydrate water molecule. Calcium sulfate hemihydrate. The first question is why it is called a cluster of Paris? Why? Because it is mainly obtained from here mainly formed from gypsum which is abundantly found in a Paris gypsum is founded in a Paris in abundant that's why it is called a cluster of a Paris right so we have to prepare POP from a gypsum what is this gypsum this is a Calcium sulfate dihydrate. Calcium sulfate dihydrate. Di stands for two. And here it is hemihydrate means half water molecule. Right? So we can prepare POP from gypsum by simply heating it. So next is a preparation. Preparation of POP from a gypsum. If we <coughs> if we heat gypsum at three seventy three Kelvin, then it loses three fourth of its water molecule, and remaining is calcium sulfate half H two plus. 3 by 2 H2. You may write the equation in a whole number also. Simply multiply 4 by 2. So it can be written as a Both equations are right. On heating at 373 Kelvin, it loses 3 fourths of its water molecule and the remaining compound is POP, calcium sulfate hemihydrate. But you have to check the temperature. Temperature must be controlled here. If we heat gypsum at 493 Kelvin, if we, if we heat gypsum at 493 Kelvin, then it loses all the water molecules. It loses all the water molecules and the remaining compound is unhydrated calcium sulfate. It is also called a dead burnt cluster of Paris. It is also called a dead burnt POP. When, when we heat Gypsum greater than 373 Kelvin, then we obtain that bond POP and it and it is different from a POP. Its settling property is completely different. So precaution is we should control and check the temperature. Right. Next it's a properties. First is it is white powder slightly soluble in water. It's 
lightly soluble in water. Third property is quite important. It has a remarkable property. To settle down into a hard mass when wetted with the water. It has a remarkable property to settle down into a hard mass when wetted with the water. It means it observe it observe absorb water on its surface. And again, it is a gypsum. This settling property is called a settling of the POP. Settling of the POP. Right? Fourth is again, if we heat calcium sulfate, hemihydrate, then it loses water molecule. Remaining structure is calcium sulfate, unhydrated calcium sulfate. We can't consider it as a POP. These are the properties of a POP. Next uses I think. Uh, Everyone knows we use POP for decorating the walls. First, it is used for decoration of a, it is used for decoration of a walls. Second, second we can say it is used for smoothing of walls also. Meanings are same. For smoothing of the walls before applying paints. Before applying paints, we use it as a smoothing agent. Right? Third, it is used in hospitals by doctors. To fix the it is used in hospitals by doctors to fix the fractured bones or it is used to prepare toys, statues, voids. Cosmetics, etc. It is used to prepare toys, statues, molds, cosmetic, etc. For fifth, it is used to prepare chalks for blackboards. These are the few important uses of a POP, right? The main question is why we should store POP in a moisture proof container. There is a question in NCRT. Why should we store POP in a moisture free conditions? The answer is if, we, if POP get moisture, it will settle down into a hard mass and its property will change. Clear? That's it for us today. Keep learning and keep exploring my channel for further videos. Thank you.